What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to try and give you or convey the experience of what it's like to drive an electric car, particularly if you've never driven one. But not just any electric car of course, but one of the highest end, one of the most powerful, the most best performing and most successful electric cars that have broken uh, this new automotive market. Welcome to Electric Tuesday. Roll with the sting! <laughs> you like it? Yeah. What do you think? Amazing, good, but the seat belts need a bit of changing because I can't get mine in. No, that's it. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Look at the roof. Completely beautiful. Panoramic glass roof. Like, got so much space in the back there. The seat. And even though the seat is all the way back, or pretty much all the way back in the front. Ginger, look how much leg room you've got. You don't have to worry about things like gearboxes down the middle and, uh, and, and of course, engines in the front. So the whole concept of design of the interior space can be completely rethought about. Show the people the navigation in the cousin farmer. <laughs> Rex wants to show you the navigation screen and what he's particularly impressed with Carbon fibre. So one of the first things you notice when you get in these things, as I mentioned, was the space. There's so much space everywhere because you're not restricted in that design process uh, by the more traditional elements of a traditional car. Um, once you've got over the space of this thing though, you also notice the simplicity in that there's no switches or buttons all over the place. The whole thing is controlled by this giant iPad like screen um, and you might think it might sound gimmicky but actually it really works it's self-intuitive it's really easy to use and everything just kind of works as you imagine it would for this iPad generation that we all are um, so that all works really well and of course because all of that is controlling the car and the car the thing that sets a, an electric car perhaps apart uh, once you've got over the hardware the electric motors and the battery configuration the thing that really differentiates electric cars is the software that controls it. It's the user experience and how easy they are to use, how comfortable they are to use, um, you know, how many gadgets and gizmos and toys and tricks that you can use through the software to make your experience uh, a kind of nicer, more beneficial experience that it that it can be, um, you know, using this thing every day. So the software is the biggest thing, and because these cars are controlled by software uh, today it means you can configure pretty much everything so the displays on the dashboard completely configurable the big screen in the middle completely configurable um, the display on the dash actually really really useful the driver display that's sitting in front of you you can change the information that you have on there it has a nice little graphical display of your energy usage and that very quickly becomes a bit of an addiction in that you're trying to drive in a way that that keeps the graph showing you as a as an economical and efficient driver um, it becomes a little personal challenge it does at least for me and I'm sure over time that must change the way you drive the car for the better the other kind of uh, unique thing or one of the things that really stands out about this is that when you're driving down the road and you lift off the throttle pedal you know, we've all heard, particularly in Formula E and Formula One, people talking about regen or harvesting energy. Well, you really feel it in this car. So when you're driving down the road, you lift off the throttle pedal, the electric motors that are driving the car suddenly turn into generators, start regenerating energy to feed back into the battery. And it's that, the resistance from those generators, that slows the car down without you even having to touch the brake pedal. You can almost do an entire journey without touching the brake pedal once on the on the whole thing. And that's a, a very different way of driving, but it feels 
kind of nice because you know that in your regular road car you're driving down towards a roundabout you lift off the throttle uh, the engine is still ticking over as you're slowing down and using the brakes it's still pumping out harmful gases it's still burning fuel into the into the uh, you know at the back of the uh, exhaust pipe with this thing there's nothing wasted you lift off the throttle and that slowing down process that braking phase is being 100% used to generate energy to recharge the battery to prolong the life and the prolong the prolong the range um, of course all of those things are just brilliant the design features are, are, are great it's a very modern car it feels like the kind of car for for this era if you like and leap forward from a much more traditional type of motoring that we've all grown used to for, for so many years uh, it's quiet inside as I say spacious and comfortable but perhaps the biggest thing that I haven't even touched on yet but the biggest thing that you cannot help but notice when you get inside one of these cars is the moment you put your foot down because we've all heard about instant torque we've all heard about instant acceleration well you can hear about it all you like until you experience it you just don't know what to expect hold on kids <laughs> I cannot even begin to describe that. I just scared myself. And it takes a lot to do that. The, the acceleration is unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is like a... <laughs> it's like a rocket. The first time I ever got in one of these and put my foot down just a little bit, I just, I was uncontrollably giggling for about a minute because it's like nothing you've ever experienced before. Hands down, the fastest car I've ever driven and I've been very lucky in my life to drive some pretty, you know, spectacular cars. It's amazing. <laughs> you never ever get bored of that feeling. I mean, imagine what it must be like. We all grew up kind of uh, wondering what it must be like to get behind the wheel of a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Well, <laughs> those things are not impressive anymore in terms of acceleration when you compare it to this must have seen the drag races online where Tesla takes on a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or a, a, you know whatever it is and absolutely walks wipes the floor with it it's amazing it is amazing I hope I've put it into some kind of words I don't know if I've made any sense but the experience of these things is just like nothing else and until you've tried one you just cannot appreciate it it's a hell of a bit of kit <laughs> As well as all that, I think it's fair to say, they look pretty sick too, don't they?